Okay, I have a panel here that um, is mostly complete, and I don't know if you can see this up close or not, but I've put a lot of marks and scratches into it just to give it some character, and there's just many, many, many layers of paint underneath that to give it this character and body that you see here. And so I want to finish this out by bringing this area a little closer to this darker, warmer color here, but I don't want to destroy the integrity of some of these other beautiful marks. And so all these little tiny, tiny scratches that I've put in here, you can see it there, I want to fill those in with something that gives it sort of that antique scratched, um, I don't know how to say it, maybe just give it m more of an aged look. And so what I'm using is a bit of black paint over here in my tray and some uh, Daniel Smith Quinacridone Gold product, which you cannot buy in this uh, container anymore, so I'm going to eventually have to find a different way to do it. Uh, it only comes in watercolor or oil now, not in acrylic. So, uh, and a squirt bottle and a piece of steel wool. So the first thing that I will do is um, is add a little water to my to my paper towel here, and take my monochrome gold and a little bit of the black, and just sort of mix it up here to make a dirty kind of a dirty yellow with a little bit of black in it, and I'm just going to put this all over this panel and and I, I think I'll just you know kind of avoid the, the bright red part because I do want to keep the bright red part and I'll rub some of this off to, uh, to see if maybe I can keep from making it too dark so gotten some of it on here and um, and it's yellowed down. Okay, this is the panel that I showed you yesterday that I did this antiquing on and you can see I've got several places on here that are very antiqued and so some of these other delicate marks got pushed into the background but I want to bring those forward again. And so I've created this uh, lovely little bit of china blue and popped a little onto this little dragonfly here and I want to just go back in and, and restate some of that color in a couple of places so that it doesn't um, doesn't really get lost. I really like having interesting things to regard as, um, as you work your eye around the panel and uh, repeating this little this little dragonfly uh, messiness or bits or whatever is sort of cool. So there's also other little delicate marks in here that did get lost and you don't really notice them much. So I am coming back in here with my little delicate brush and putting the um, kind of a close up of the wings of the dragonfly back into this panel here. It's just sort of, I just sort of took a little section and, and blew it up in my mind um, that the, the dragonfly essence got repeated. And it shows up on the panel in other places as well with a slightly different, different color. And so there are some other shapes that I've put in here on purpose. This statement of stripe that goes here and goes here. So I will um, take my my china blue here and really knock it back a little bit and put this little um, this little shape back in up here that I had before that I liked. Sort of the 
the U-turn of the dragon. <laughs> I don't know what this is, but it just felt like it needed to be there. I'm gonna clean the edge up on that. And I will continue to go through the panel and do some of these very light marks here. And then here with my darker contrasty pieces, maybe I'll touch this up a little bit so that it's stronger and, and maybe even touch up this one here a little bit more because I want you to look over here and over here and all over the panel and just enjoy all of the delicate little marks and, and enjoy this little dragonfly. <laughs> 